So this, I accept this on behalf of the people of the Caribbean, Africa, South America, uh, Europe, and uh, Asia, all the world, because these are the people that have supported me all along. So this is I am the receptor, but it just don't belong to me, it belongs to all of you. Jam cap, an all-people trophy. <laughs> yes. Hi, this is Priscilla Montero, and we're at an undisclosed location with the legendary. Legendary. Hi, I'm Jimmy Cliff. How are you, Jimmy? I'm very well, thank you. Now, I want to talk about your glasses before we get into this interview. I am digging your glasses. Who who are they by? Well, it's custom. Well, it's custom made. <laughs> Oh wow! I, did you design them or? Uh, I um, told them something about uh, what pyramids mean to me, because uh, our ancestors built the the pyramids of Egypt, and built lots of pyramids all over the world. So pyramids figures a lot into my life. So I said, um, how about two pyramids, one up and one down? So that's what it is, wow. and but also, it can looks like two hearts as well. One heart up pointing to the heavens and one heart down pointing to the depths of the oceans. Oh, that is so deep. I mean, fashion is art, art is fashion, and it all ties in together to the music, which I know you're working on a new project. Yes, I have a new album, Existence, and it's about our existence on this planet, uh, whether in love relationship or our economic situation, or the global warming situation, or the political situation with our um, soldiers dying all over the world. I'm um, touching on all of these things. So it's about our existence. Wow. That is very important, especially at a time like now where the state of, exi state of existence has kind of just changed and how the economy affects everyone and impacts everyone altogether. Um, how have you been doing in the economy with your music and touring? Well, um, I spent most of last year recording the album, so I didn't uh, any touring at all. But, um, you know, I am balancing. Um, I take the good with the bad and I make a balance in it. That is very important. Balance. Balance, would you say, is the key to success? Absolutely. You know, my, um, my, my father used to say, a bird cannot fly on one wing. So it needs the two wings to balance. That is absolutely <laughs> true. It's, it's hard. It takes longer to get there with one wing. Can you imagine? <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, the balance is the key to everything. And that's what we have lost balance of, you know. I think we have um, lost the love, um, the love for each other, the, the love that is in us, you know. And like the other side is like taking over. So we have to bring forward the love. and. You know, I want to highlight it, so. Would you say that social media has an impact on music and uh, the love that is being spread today, being with the Twitters and Facebooks and MySpaces? Oh, media has a, a very powerful impact, you know? And uh, we live in a world where they tend to highlight the pessimistic things that's going on. And the power of words is <laughs> most people take it for granted. So you put out either the, whether the written word or the spoken word is going to have an effect. So if they were putting out more positive words, it would have more of a positive effect on the world. So yes, the media does have a, <laughs> a lot to do with what goes on. And, and, and hence we're here today. We're here to tell everyone about you and just um, speaking of media, and I know you've heard about, I don't know if it's one of your colleagues or not, Mr. Bujubantan. How do you feel about um, what's going on with him? Yeah, Buju is a colleague of mine, and uh, I am, um, well, I'm saddened to know that he's not out here with us now. I don't know the details of the situation, but uh, to the Buju that I know, 
I am kind of uh, suspicious that there is something going on there that is not uh, not bujo. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that's how many feel as well. It's it's kind of dis disheartening. Yes. However, I am, uh, I, I know Boudreau is a forward-thinking person and an optimistic man, and he has his, his, his grounds, his roots in the powers that created this whole universe, and so I think he will be triumphant. Very well said. And then triumphant comes um, all things glorious and positive, and speaking of which, um, I just remember listening to your records when I was a little girl in 1978, 79. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom still has the vinyl, okay. um, the water in the background, and you had the short uh, fro. I, I remember okay. that clearly. <laughs> all right, all right, yes. Um, I remember that photograph myself. Yes, that's the Judy yeah. Cliff that I, I am familiar with. Yes, and so as we go along in life, you know, when we look back on some of our baby pictures and say, oh, was that me? <laughs> and then we look at ourselves at adolescence and say, oh, did I wear that to school? <laughs> and then uh, we look at ourselves as adults. So it's the process of life and it's, it's beautiful. Absolutely so. And um, what, what else are you working on besides music? Outside of my new album existence, I have a few movie projects on the table. And, uh, you know, that's one area that I have not pursued enough. I've done four movies, and people know me as an actor as well. So that area I need, to, I need and I want to pursue more. So I think one of these movies will go into pro production this year. So that's a thing I'm looking forward to a lot. Are you, are you looking uh, to go to Hollywood with it? Or are you going to keep it independent? What are your plans? So one of my uh, movies was a big Hollywood production, um, Club Paradise, that was with Robin Williams and Peter O'Toole. And the people that are involved in this one presently, they are in Hollywood as well. So we already have the script, the script is finished, and uh, now they're getting together the production of production, including the um, financial people and all of that. Can you share a little bit about what the project's about without giving it away? It's called, the one that um, I feel may get worked on most is called Wapi King or just King. Mm -hmm. Wapi King was a notorious character in Jamaica. He was really fearless. But I want to take th that character and say with that spirit, that he had that fearlessness and put it in a positive way. So you saw him coming out of the negative, you saw all the things that was going on with him and then when he decided to change into the positive way, it was a big struggle. And that's, that's the essence of the movie there. That sounds pretty powerful. And it actually sounds like this may turn into an Oscar. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if we speak it into existence? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, um, I know that um, you have places to go, but in closing, could you please sing a song for the people? Well, let's say, sing this one to you. Ding, 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 whoa. Ding, 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 whoa. Ding, 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 whoa. Ding, 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 whoa. Rebel, rebel, rebel. Take it to the next level. Rebel, 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 we're living on a higher level. Voila. <laughs> yes, I love it. Thank you so much. I love your energy. I am so honored. Blessings to you and everything that you do. I look forward to seeing more about Jimmy Cliff and what you're working on. Thank you very much indeed. Yes. And you're watching Forever Reggae TV with Priscilla Montero and the legendary Jimmy Cliff. Thank you. <laughs> Blessed love. Thank you. Blessed love. Blessed love. This is Jimmy Cliff, and I'm saying Forever Reggae TV. Stay tuned. I am Jimmy Cliff. <laughs> <laughs>